Shipping time. Hey everybody, Bandicoot Commando here, welcoming you back to my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot. In the last episode, very quiet episode if I'll remind you, we got through three levels. And also, during my free time, I went back to Temple Ruins and got the gem, and all's good. And I'm in a very good mood, as you can tell. In this episode, we're going to be doing Sunset Visa. If it's one thing I know, I might have trouble here. Uh, let us go. Okay, so, uh, interesting fact about Sunset Visa. It's pretty hard, and yes, I'll admit, I'll probably die a lot in this level and episode, but the thing is about Sunset Visa is... Is there anything back here? Okay, nothing. As I was gonna say, um, because of the level's difficulty, um, it actually had to be switched with another level, which we have not gone to yet. It's on the third island, and whoa. And also, during the beta of Crash Bandicoot, it was a lot harder. Like, I've seen the footage of the level, and God, if they actually kept that level design and everything of it, I... Oh, damn, bats. I would not be able to get through that level if they kept the original level design. Like, what's an example I can use? on how hard it was like that torch I was on a moment ago they actually had floating torch platforms and to make it worse there were multiple ones like how do I describe it oh whoops I overdid my jump but yeah as I was saying you know the torch platforms like sort of rotated or yeah they, they were in a rotation like formation yeah, that's, that's a fun little rhyme but yeah, they were just in a formation when they rotate, which, you know, made things harder. And these pushy things, <laughs> pushy things, that's the right word to use. These things, they just, you know, had a different pattern to some of them, to the point they were moving really, really fast. And they probably had more bats, if I remember correctly. But yeah, other than that, this level is difficult, I'll admit. But it's only in the Japanese version that they switched the level order with. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, another thing I learned was um, in Temple Ruins. This is something I actually didn't know until now. When I went to get the gem, apparently in the Japanese version. Wow, a lot of Japanese versions of Crash being brought up. Uh, but in the Japanese version... Well, hang on, hang on, before I actually explain the, j the joke, not the joke. Oh, God! Did I actually... I actually spun all those bats away. Cool. Anyway, can I please get to my story game, please? Alright, as I was gonna say, in this version and in the um, European version of the game, Temple Ruins does not have a ton of save bonus round, as you saw in the episode. However, the Japanese version gets one. Japan always gets the nice things, but in some cases it's not true. We get the good things and they don't. Oh, okay, here we go. I probably shouldn't be jumping, but I'd rather jump. Hey, what's up there? There's got to be something up there. Oh, oh, lucky me, another mask. See? That's what happens when you explore. You find nice things. Well, other than dying twice, or I think I died twice already. I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track. Oh, see? This is an example of bats and torches. See? Look at that. But it's safe down here. Alright, I'm gonna kill you. Oop. Whoa, 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 Go away. Oh, this. This is a... Ugh. This is gonna probably take me a while. Alright. Let me see it above me. Yeah, those will retract when you stand on them. And as I... S Look at all these torches, man. And I can hear, like, a torch activating and deactivating. Oh. Whoa. Oh, it's that one. Okay, got away, got away, got away. 
Seriously. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Don't cook me. Oh, wow. That, that was actually moving quite fast. Oh, what's over here? Oh, Tana, okay. We were just discussing you, Tana, on how you don't appear in uh, our version in Temple Ruins. Why? Why can't, can't you spare your time to... Actually, that's something I want to talk about. How come in the bonus, Tana's bonus round, she's perfectly there? Why can't... Why does she have to be there? Like, you're supposed to rescue her and she's at, like, Cortex's castle. Yet, in the bonus rounds, she takes her time to get up in a really tall treetop setting just to present to you your progress and allow you to save. Okay. Whoops. Well, now I gotta climb all over again. Why can't you take your time to, you know, visit other places where it's most convenient? Okay. Uh, okay, what to talk about and actually stay on topic about it without digressing too much. Um... Hmm... Oh, actually, now I know something. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm, I have a fear of getting burned in the crash games. I don't know why. Every time it gets burned, it scares me because of how sudden it is and unexpected. Anyway, I could talk about some interesting facts about crash, like, as I've said, production and notes. So, where to begin? Okay, so... Naughty Dog made Crash as a way to actually make use of the PlayStation's um, 3D capabilities. Because at the time, games, most games uh, that were in 3D were either sports, or I think they were sports, racing, racing games, or, you know, they were just not in the adventure or platform genre. And Naughty Dog made Crash into that. Alright, so let me watch this real quick. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Holy sh... Oh, man, I don't remember this. How long are they going to stay out? Fuck you, naughty... Fuck you, naughty dog. Well, see what I mean on how it's hard? Like, it even starts out like that. Okay, so where was I? So, yeah, they wanted to make a 3D platformer. Uh, let's see, what else was there? At first, during production, uh, Crash's uh, production title, or code name, it was at first jokingly called Sonic's Ass Game, because every time you move up, you would see a good, you know, look of Crash's ass. And it was just called Sonic's Ass Game as a joke. You don't see his ass all the time. You sometimes see, like, right now it's a two. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Bats? No bats that magically turn into fruit. Um. Oh, uh, Crash wasn't a bandicoot originally. Uh, he was actually a wombat at first, and he went by many different names, like he was called. Let's see, he was called Wiz, Wes, Wizer. I'm trying to think what else he was. He was known as Wizer. They wanted to use Wizer for a long time, but you know, they called it family appropriate, even though clearly it isn't. And then they stuck on to Willie the Wombat. And damn, I'm having trouble with this already. But they had to change it because at the time, in an old TV show that I never watched as a kid, which was uh, mystic which was called uh, Tasmania, which I've never seen the show, but it was just, it focused on the Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes. There was a character who was a wombat, and his name was Willie, I believe. So they had to change that. As, and then they just decided to, oh shit. Well, this may take a while. So they changed him to a bandicoot. Even though he doesn't resemble one, he was one originally before he was evolved. Shit, 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 shit. Oh man, this is this is this is why this game, or this game, this level is hard. 
I can see why they did change the level order with this and another level, but trust me, when we get to the other... Oh, I had it. Oh! Oh! Shit. I'm tempted to cut away, but after the last time I attempted to do that, I had a bit of a failure. Hmm, you know, I'm gonna attempt... I'm gonna attempt it this time. Oh, actually, no. If I do that, I might screw up again. Man, I can't make up my mind. I just can't make up my mind at the moment. Hey, Weezer. Are you all sleepy and everything? Weezer's my cat. He's just laying down next to me, all sleepy. Alright, so if I can get back to Crash... What else should I talk about? Damn it! Why? Oh, I was in such a good mood. I originally stated on my channel I wasn't going to record today because I was... Mainly because of the TV was being occupied. But, you know, now I have the chance to record and I was in a good mood that I can record. Now it, I'm slowly getting stressed out by the... What the hell? Oh my god, let's do that again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It only worked when I was jumping. It only worked when I was jumping. I have the footage to prove it. Damn it. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Got it. Get up, get up. Oh, thank you, Crash. Thank you. Okay, we need to get that. So, you, come here. Oh, I thought I was going to miss it for a second. Okay. We are actually halfway there. Get the map. Thank you. Now, don't spin these, because I'm pretty sure there's a T and... I think there's a TNT crate hidden in there. Oh! The Cortex Mug. Oh my god, if I can get him. If I can get... If I can find two more of him. Oh god, this, this is good. This is actually good. Is there anything else beyond here? No? Okay. Okay. Um, let's see, what else can I... Well, I can teach you all about bandicoots if you don't know what they are. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, yes. Oh, so... Okay, look, that bat is hanging on nothing. Nothing, look, see? And it takes a while for the flock to get over here. Alright. I gotta wait because... Because of that. Uh, wait for the flock. How, they are not hanging on anything. Alright. Uh, gotta get through this. Alright, it's just all four of them. Alright, so... What a bandicoot. Ew! Get it, get it! Yes! Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Um, alright, alright, look at that, pay attention. Alright, go, 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 go! Are there any bat- okay, there's no bats, I can tell. Okay. This is good, so far so good. What's in here? Tana! Jeez, the second one already? Pretty sure we're- Go, go, go! Okay, this is the point in the- footage where they're just thinking, wait, how do you get back there? I noticed there's crates back there. Oh, it's probably a thing for later on. I really want to get on with my story. Oh, my story. Anyway, I want to get on with my story on what a bandicoot is and, you know, just teach you. Be all teacher mode. Okay, so, for what a bandicoot is, for all of you little kids who don't know, already I got all three of them? I better not, I better not fuck this up. Ooh, I've been in one of these Cortex rounds before. Okay, so these work like the, oh, shit. Move. Oh. Oh, yes. Did that like a boss on first fucking try, man. There's Cortex, but he'll... Flee, and he'll give you this key. 
first fucking try, I thought I was going to fuck that up. Because when I wanted to show the Brio bonus round, I kept fucking that up. But yes, that's what the Cortex bonus rounds are like. They kind of work similar to the Brio rounds, except when you get to the end, you get a key. But damn, my first try. That is awesome. All right, now I can explain what a Bandicoot is at long last. Because I think... Nope. Another taunt around. I'm just going to try to explain while I get through this. So, a Bandicoot is just... Uh, think of it as a mouse, I guess, if that's the right word to use. Except, it's not really a mouse. It, it just basically looks like a big fat rat slash mouse. Oh, shit. But, um, oh, 47% complete. But, uh, it's just, it's just basically a marsupial. And, of course, I hope you all know what that word means. Because I'm not even going to bother telling you if you don't know what that word means. But, yeah, bandicoots are just basically, they just look like mice, in my opinion. Mice, rats, and they're marsupials. And they're only, and they only live in Australia, like all other marsupials out there. Except for the possum that we have. Whoa. Whoa. I thought I was going to fall off for a second. Alright, I'm pretty sure we are almost there. Hmm. Looks like we're not going to go to the third island this episode like I thought we would. Well. No. See, my plan was... Oh, well, it's moving fast. There we go. Oh my god, enough with the rotating speeds. Okay, a checkpoint. Just in case I fall down, I can just kill myself to get back up to the checkpoint faster. Alright. Can I stop freaking out for one? Oh, this is it. I know we're almost there. There's gonna be something. Yep, I can see it from here. You... Yes, fuck you, lizard. There's the end, everyone. Oh, we did it. Oh, there's Cortex Castle, but as I said, I don't think we're going to be going there this episode, unfortunately. So, for the final level here on Wampa Island, the third boss of the game, and Matt, you're probably not going to like him that much, but you might at the same time. We will fight Koala Kong. Alright, so Koala Kong, he will throw these rocks at you. You can either run and dodge him or do what I do, just spin them. I'd rather spin them instead. And yes, occasionally TNTs will fall off. He'll then pick up this rock. And if you will, he'll throw it, dodge it, and then aim it right here and spin it right at him. The only time I might want to move is if a TNT crate falls and gets close to me. And he has four hit points, as you can see. Alright, so be careful when you're going to spin these back at him, because as you can see... The minecarts that are rolling by actually will act as a shield for him. If you, whoops. If you spin it wrong, now I'm going to get hit. Oh, okay. Also, you can notice this lava here. Don't mind the lava. Alright, throw your rock. And he's just on his last hit point already. I think he's gonna... Oh, he's just taking his... Can I hit him before... Oh, wait, show your ass real quick, quickly. Yes! We got Koala Kong, everyone! Alright, here we are. We are on Cortex Island. The final island of the game, everyone. Check out the island. Oh yes, toxic waste too, if you can notice. 
you can tell with that blimp on who I'm gonna fight. Oh, but it feels great to be on this island already. We are almost done. We just have, if I can count, one, two, three. You can't see it, but the fourth one is on that factory thing, and the fifth. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen places left, but you can see that I actually did not count that one there because it's locked, but remember that key that Cortex gave us? It's to this level, whole hog. And even though I was going to end the episode off here, I think I'm going to do it real quick. So, whole hog. Alright, so it's another riding level. Now, here's the truth. I might die a lot, because I've only done this level once in my whole life. Oh. Like I said, I've only done this level once, so I don't remember how it'll work out. But it is like Hogwild, except a little harder, as you can see with the obstacles. Get through it! Alright. Alright, I see how the timing works on that now. I gotta stay on the left, I think. Alright, let's do it. Oh, okay. Oh, Matt. When... I hope you don't mind Koala Kong, Matt, because as much as you're obsessed with koalas... A what? It's not right. The drums usually get you all the way to the end. Oh, I had a problem with this, actually, when I first played this. Okay, yeah, I'll... I think I know how to fix the problem. You hold X down, I believe. Oh, yep, you can see. Let's go! Oh! Oh, sh- Oh, man. Everything was just getting fast. Oh. This is gonna be a quite a long episode if I keep dying. I wanted to end it off after Koala Kong, but after... I wasn't expecting to get the key on my first try. But after getting it, I'm like, you know what? I might as well do it. Alright, so you hold down X for those. Go, 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 go. Go, Hog, go! Oh, whoo! Oh, where's the checkpoint? Oh, yes. This is gonna be a hard gem for me to get. There's a drum. There's another draw. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I'm breaking the crates just fine. It's just my dying that... I would've been... Oh, I made it? I thought I wasn't gonna make it. I think we made it! Holy shit! I was expecting to die more. And I got a gem. Okay! Fine by me! Holy shit! This episode turned out to be pretty good. Wow. Well, it looks like I won't have... Well, actually, now that I look at it, that level had no checkpoints at all. And this is something I actually should have mentioned, that to get a gem, as I said, you have to go through the whole level without dying. However, checkpoint crates count as the crates. So, if you die before you hit a checkpoint crate, you know, it will count as, you know, re eh, I don't know how to put it, but you, you probably understand what I mean. Just, as long as you don't get to your first checkpoint crate and you keep dying, you still have a chance to beat the level, <gasps> excuse me, to beat the level and get the gem. Anyway, that is our time here for this episode. So, join me next time as we start Cortex Island, starting with Heaven of Heaven. <laughs> Heavy machinery. I'll see you guys next time. God, this was a great episode.